Hello there fellas and ladies, welcome back to Goodfellas Garage. Today I'm gonna be working on my 2011 Crown Vic. I figured I'll do some small jobs here and there in preparation for some of the big work. Uh, so I figured I'll start with uh, taking off some of the chalk marks and stickers that are on the exterior glass. I am using uh, Windex and, and a blade, that's it. Next, there was an old sticker on the back window. Again, uh, my blade and some goo gone, and the sticker is gone. There are some more stickers on the back bumper. That took a little bit of time with goo gone to get off, but uh, everything cleaned out real nice. Here's what the trunk carpeting looks like. It's pretty rough. There's a lot of stains. Uh, it looks like um, a fire extinguisher went off at some point inside of the trunk. There's some amounts left for an old fire extinguisher. Uh, and no, that's not cocaine. Uh, I think it's a uh, you know, residue from a fire extinguisher. There was another one on the other side as well. It left a bunch of holes. The problem with decommissioned police cars is that the technicians, when they're taking out the police equipment after the car is done, uh, they're not really gentle nor careful, so they, they cut a bunch of wires up and they really don't reattach anything after they remove all their lights and uh, electronics and all that stuff, so it, it's a mess down there. Here's what it looks like under the carpet. There's a nine millimeter bullet in there and the car gave me back 15 cents. There's also uh, a lot of wiring left over from the police equipment. Uh, I'm gonna take care of that later uh, when I'm removing the interior. So I decided instead of vacuuming, I'm just going to flood the trunk with water and I removed the uh, plugs, the rubber plugs that are in the trunk and then use the rag to push the water into them.
here's the trunk, nice and clean after I turn it into a little swimming pool. Next, I washed the carpeting. Uh, all I used was Simple Green. I don't use any fancy cleaners. Uh, all these people who charge, you know, three times the amount for for these expensive cleaners you see on the internet uh, because they're vanilla scented and they do the same exact thing. So you can buy Simple Green at Home Depot by the gallon for like a few dollars, and it works absolutely fine. So while the carpeting was drying, which took about 15 minutes in this heat, I decided to tackle the windshield wiper that was giving us the salute. I wanted to reposition it. Uh, it is held uh, by a clip that you gotta pull up and it's a very um, annoying system that Ford has. And I have done this before and it's a pain in the butt. So there's a little clip in there behind the arm that you gotta pull. Uh, it's right there. So you gotta pull it up with a hook. I have spent about 20 minutes trying to pry this clip up. I have tried. I then tried some more. I used every little pick and hook that I had available to me. I tried some more. Eventually what happened was uh, the sun started to bake my ass and my ass was literally on fire, so I will try this job again at some other time. I then decided to clean the hubcaps uh, from all the brake dust to see if it would come off or if I need to buy new ones. Um, the new ones are actually more expensive than the wheel itself. So I'm um, using Sonax uh, wheel cleaner for you know extra dirty stuff and it looks like uh, it took care of most of the dirt and they cleaned up uh, pretty nice. So after I washed the wheels, for some odd reason I decided to wash the rest of the car in this 10,000 degree heat. Uh, it actually turned out to be Pretty nice, uh, I have uncovered a lot more scratches after I washed all the dust and dirt off of this car. This is probably the only time, the first time in its life that it was uh, washed by hand. As you can see fellas, the car cleaned up really nice. The headlights are yellowed up and I will address that in the next video. The side markers have holes in them from strobe lights so I'll also uh, take care of that in the next video. I will do a proper paint correction on this car once all the mechanical work is done. So stay tuned for the next Sunday's video as I start doing some major work on this car including fluid changes and some service. 15 minutes under Florida sun, all the carpeting is dry. So let's uh, put it back in the trunk and see what it looks like. Here's the final product, fellas. I think it looks pretty good for a couple of hours worth of work. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.